Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards and welcome to yet another yoga workout here at Stevie Richards Fitness. Today we're going to be mainly be concentrating on our hamstrings. My hamstrings are extremely tight this morning. I even have a little bit of tightness on the inside of my legs after an early morning cardio and kettlebell workout. So I'm going to be concentrating on that while trying to still stretch out my lower back and my hips along the way. So we're going to get right on the mat here. So what I want you to do is lay on your back flat, feet are flat, knees are pointed towards the ceiling or the sky, hips are hip distance apart. How do you like that? So feet and knees are hip distance apart with your hips. How can your hips be hip distance apart? My God, what a miracle. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna inhale, raise our hips up. Exhale, drop your butt. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale. Now see my elbows and back of my arms here? You can always have your hands flat. It's your choice, we'll try it that way. Inhale up, lift your hips up. Exhale, butt to the mat. Now you want that lower back to be flat. Don't be rounding it out or having it curved in any way. So push that lower back down then, inhale. And what I do, stay right here, keep, keep your hips up. I'm pushing down my heels. Sometimes I even bring my toes up a little bit but my feet are generally all the way flat where I'm pushing down on my hips. So it simulates sort of like the same thing as you do a lot of times with squats. You always push down on your heels and not be up on your toes like this because that sucks right there. So inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, drop your butt. Bring your knees to your chest. And I just kind of move my toes around a little bit. Oh, tight, 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 tight. So... Inhale, bring your knees to your chest, and roll up. All right, so I'm going to get this audio thing. Come around on your knees right here. So what we're going to do is go right into a down dog, and what I'm going to do is really start stretching the hamstrings out and start trying to work those. So we might go into a couple three-legged dogs, come back, and then what we're going to do is go into a plank and drop our hips to open our hips up. Don't go, don't go really deep if you can't. Just do whatever you can. So, and also go right into child's pose if you need to take a break. So you can always pause this video. All right, hands underneath your shoulders, curl your toes. And right here, we're gonna go through the flow. Inhale, bring your head up, drop your belly to the mat. Now exhale into a down dog. And here we go. There, my back is tight. What I'm trying to do is push down here so I can take two little steps in I want to push my heels down and push my chest towards my thighs. I want to look at my toes. I really want to, uh, don't lift your hand up. I got to fix my mic right here. Just stay here and breathe. Just try to ignore all the junk and everything. I'm gonna to try to straighten my arms out a little bit and push my chest towards my thighs, push the heels down. Oh, nice. Now, lift your left foot up. If you want to, you can stay in down dog. Lift your left foot up and the three-legged dog. I'm gonna to try to keep that leg straight up and bend it a lot and bring it right down. Now come into a plank and drop your hips. Look up, you look down, look neutral, your choice. Oh, keep the toes curled, drop the hips. Come back in a down dog. And let's get a couple breaths. Inhale, lift the right foot to the sky and the leg, of course. Three legged dog, stay right here. Keep the leg as straight as you can. I gotta work, work, work on that. Work, work, work on that. Now come down in the down dog, come in the plank and drop your hips. Ow, crack, 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 that's my jaw. Oh, I feel that on my toes, I feel that on my hips. Oh, come back in the down dog and drop right in the child's pose. Stretch out. Now what I wanna do is push my butt back towards my heels should be able to stretch out more and also get the length on my spine but really i want that lower body and my lower back to feel it Whew. 
All right, come up, come around to your butt. What we're gonna do here is a lot of hamstring stretches and we're gonna take our time. It's not gonna take too long. So first thing we wanna do is bring your left. See, I'm mirroring you as usual. Bring your left foot in. I can't get it too high, but I gotta work on it. So I always wanna try to keep my foot on the mat here. Curl the toes back on this. This is where you're using a yoga strap. It can be real beneficial. So I'm gonna inhale like I'm going up here and exhale, fold forward. But don't try to pull on your toes. See, I'm not quite at my toes here. I'm about right here. I'm gonna drop my head and also make sure that foot is planted into at least the side of my quadricep. That's a little bit on my knee. It's kind of like that tree pose when you're standing. So very, very important to keep that toe curled as much as possible. I want to stretch this hamstring out. Also, I'm getting this knee and a little bit of my inner thigh. And I'm also obviously stretching my lower back coming in here. I'm just going to be real gentle with the stretch on both sides. You don't want to pull it. You want to breathe. And when you exhale, you can try to go centimeters, millimeters, whatever it is. Try to get it down there. And then I'm just going to peel back here. And I just take it careful, shake out my knees. Right? See, I've, I have tile here, concrete. So if you, you have a floor or a mat or a rug, you're going to be a little bit better off with the, with the rug or the mat. So now bring your right foot in. And I can already tell this is my tight side with the knee. This is my bad knee. And also this is where the, the tightness here, the little pull I have. So we're going to be careful. So I'm going to curl the toes back here. This foot is on the mat. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Yeah, I'm nowhere close. See that? I'm nowhere close, but I still feel the stretch. And I still want to curl those toes back. Oh, that's a fight. So I might have to turn around and put even the foot on the mat here. So let me start that over. Inhale. Exhale. There we go. That's a lot better on my heel. This one here is pretty hard, so if you can stay on the mat, just for the sake of cameras, I was trying to uh, do that. But that's why I have a two-camera shoot. Oh, that's very tight. Very tight on this side, especially. So I'm trying to, to work at that. I'm not very good, but you might be more flexible. I'm going to put a block on the bottom of your foot and be able to do that. I used to be able to do that, but I didn't stick with the yoga. Now i got to stick with it, and I'll get better each time. Some people even put this foot across the leg and do it. A lot of people sit like that. It's crazy, isn't it? This is definitely a side I need to work on. So when you have a weakness, you don't ignore it. You don't get scared from it. You work on it even more and you try to have that symmetry on both sides. So it'll catch up. I just need to work at it. There, a little better. A little better already. I'm going to peel back and come back here and then just shake it out. All right, good. I might just stay. I have to stay right here with my with my feet on here. I'll spread them out and I'll turn to the front camera, camera one. But I'm going to keep them together right here. And inhale up. Both of the feet together. <sighs> Exhale. And stay right here. Now I'm looking around and looking at the camera and stuff. But I, you know, normally you're going to drop your head. You're not going to have to worry about a lav mic and an audio recorder and cameras. You can just concentrate and it'd be pretty cool. So curl the toes back. Oh, that creates a nice stretch on my hamstrings. Even without grabbing my hands down. If I just curl my toes back and push down on my knees, oh, I feel a nice hamstring stretch right here. But if I fold forward a little bit, oh, it's even nicer. All right, come back. Now, going to butterfly pose here. This should test my knee and my inner thigh right here, but I need it right now. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab the outside of my pinky toes. You can grab the big toes, it's up to you. Inhale up, exhale, push down. Keep those elbows in the inside of your thighs. Now notice when I breathe, my knees come up a little bit. Then when I exhale, I push down. I'm getting in a little bit more forward with this. All right. 
Now what I'm going to try to do is reach out. I'm going to breathe right here. Inhale. Exhale. If you can't go this far, you can stay right here or continue to push your elbows down on the inside of your thighs and trying to open up. I feel this more in my lower back and hips, and that's fine. Oh, I don't do this nearly enough. As a matter of fact, I didn't want to do this this morning. I was trying to find every excuse in the book not to come here and even just do the yoga, much less recorded. And I'm so happy now that I did. That's what yoga does. You hate it, hate it, hate it. A lot of working out, hate it, hate it, hate it. As you get past your your initial you know, whatever phase it's called, and then you're into it. It's like you never want it to end. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then when it's done, you feel so much better. Concentrate on that feeling. Hold that feeling. You know, make you become addicted to doing these workouts each and every day. All right, come back. I just tricked you into staying that longer. How do you, how do you like that? All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the mat forward a little bit because I want to have my heels on the mat because now I'm going to spread it out wide. My butt doesn't matter so much to be on this. Well, maybe it will. Who knows? I'm going to spread my legs wide, as wide as I can comfortably. That's fine, but I, the, the heels always hurt on hard surfaces. So, you know, if you have a rug, like I said, it's fine. But if you have a hard surface, this is going to be tough on your heels because you're pushing, curling, and then trying to get the hamstring stretched. So we're not going to go back and forth. We're just going to straight ahead like we did with the butterfly and see what we can do. So inhale, exhale. Oh, that feels so nice. Might not get that far, but I feel the stretch. So you don't have to compete and measure distance or how much you fold forward, how far out your hands go, if your forearms touch, all this garbage. Don't worry about it. Just worry about what you feel everywhere on your body and just concentrate on that. So like I said before, focus on the feeling of what it feels like, especially at the end and afterwards and how much better you feel and how you're healing your injuries rehabbing, getting more flexible, and then getting stronger, and, and all the benefits of any kind of workout, but yoga specifically, as you get to be an old man like me at 47, you need to do this stuff. You need to get in the water there and do some water workouts, things I used to make fun of, and now I find myself embracing those, and they're no joke, so... Oh, just stay right here. All right, bring keep your hands on the mat. And come back. Don't want to. You don't want to really like take a quick motion and come right up like this and hinge. I would just drag like that. It's kind of like rolling up one vertebrae at a time. So it's a, it's a much much better thing to do right there. So. That's it. That is it. I'll bring the mat back here. I know it's kind of simple, but it works. If you want to go back and do some uh, some bridges, you know, inhale on the bridge and then do your cannonball and do all that stuff or just lay on the mat, look up at the sky, meditate. Those are coming soon. That's what I considered doing this morning, but my hamstrings needed to be stretched. So we might sit here or sit on a chair and there's Mr. Squirrel off camera watching me sit here on the chair or down here on the mat, listen to the waterfall, listen to everything, get all the junk out of our minds. You'll hear me trying to process everything and say, get the, get the F out of my head. And that's part of the whole meditation process that I'm learning and not quite even a good novice at right now. So I need to really work on that. So maybe you do leave a comment below, please. There's been a whole lot of great interaction with these weekly yoga workout videos, and I want to definitely continue doing them. So please, like this video, definitely subscribe, get notified, uh, comment below. Also go to stevierichardsfitness.com and check out the resistance band programs, the 12 and 16 week, the full body workout video, the shoulder mobility video. You can use these workouts with any of those things at stevierichardsfitness.com. And also if you wanna be able to download these videos or have early access, go to patreon.com forward slash stevierichards and check out all the tiers there. So, but for now, thank you guys. God bless you and have a great day.